Hello, thank you for coming to Malo's Jetski Rentals. My name is Malo, I'm the company owner. Welcome. This is the process of signing a contract when you're renting a watercraft from us. Please make sure you have your ID and your credit card matching, same first and last name. And please make sure read every part of the contract. If you have questions, we have employees that are willing to answer any questions you have. There is no insurance sold on these jet skis. Please be aware, whoever rides the jet skis are responsible and they have to be an adult 18 and older to sign the contract and to ride the jet ski by themselves. After signing the contract, this is the process of getting life jackets, anchors and keys. Please make sure to return them at the end of your rental. We are not responsible for your lost jacket, key or anchor. Make sure to bring it back to the office for a checkout. Now this is the next process. Please make sure to watch the Bullhead City Safety video. It is required. We also have water shoes, beach towels, bathing suits, tubes, sunglasses. We have it all. When you come down to the beach, you will give this to our drivers. The first thing you will give to the driver is the inspection sheet. This is how we inspect your watercraft. This pink copy goes inside your jet ski. You must have it inside your jet ski at all times. The driver is going to get the inspection sheet. He's going to start inspecting the jet ski and then the pink copy goes in this little compartment right here. You can put it in the little compartment or the big one right here. The customers are more than welcome to take their own photos and videos to protect themselves and to protect us. We're going to go through a few key things here of the operation of the ski before we send you out. First off, everybody needs to have a life jacket on board. You must have a life jacket whenever you're on the ski. Second is a kill switch. It's a dead man switch. It's attached to your jacket. On the other side of the ski over here, you got your start stop button, okay? Green start, red stop. Doesn't even work unless this clip gets engaged underneath this just like so. Now the ski has power. Shut it off, either pull the cord or hold the button until the engine actually stops running. Okay, on the opposite side, here's the throttle, two fingers. Pull it, it accelerates, okay? Ski, you have to be giving it gas in order to turn. The ski will not turn unless you give it gas. No gas, no turn. The anchor bag needs to be filled up with rocks, just like so, and thrown out in about four feet of water, okay? This will prevent any kind of damages to the bottom of the ski, just like so there. Julio's got it hooked up and you're off the beach. The ski has to have three feet of water whenever you operate it. Uh, that way you don't suck up rocks like she's doing right now. She's getting out into three feet of water. She's going to climb on, then go. That there's the proper way to uh, operate the ski without sucking up rocks. If you're out on the rental at any time, uh, the more weight you put on it, the more unstable the ski gets. So if any chance that you uh, flip over on the ski, the ski turns upside down in the river, what you need to do is swim to the back, like he's doing, place a hand on each outside corner, push down with your right, up with your left, and rotate the ski clockwise right side up. Once it's right side up, you need to board from the rear, like he's doing out there, scoot forward, get clicked in, you're ready to go. Real important, you don't want to spray one another. It's the law to stay 100 feet away from boats, docks, just like he did right there is against the law. There is police out there, they'll write you a ticket. The police, Coast Guard, they want you to stay to the right-hand side going up the river, right-hand side going down the river, just like uh, you can see as they're doing right here. They're both to the right-hand side. When they come back down the other side, they'll be on the right-hand side. No drinking or no drugs while you're on the watercraft. Uh, the police are out there. They do carry breathalyzers. If you blow, you go to jail. We get our ski back, you go to jail. And if you're in an accident out there, any kind of accident, what you want to do is call 911. Okay, one final thing here at Malo's Jet Ski Rental. When you return with uh, your ski, you want to take your anchor bag, your life jacket, kill switch up to the office with you when you check out. Uh, again, thank you for your business. We appreciate it here at Malo's Jet Ski. Hello, I'm Chief Brian Williamson of the Bullhead City Police Department. 
Each summer, thousands of people come to our area to enjoy the beautiful Colorado River. And many, like you, take to our waters on a rental watercraft. Unfortunately for some, the day is ruined when they are involved in a watercraft accident. Many of these accidents can be avoided by learning and practicing simple boating safety rules. We produce the following video to teach you these rules and help you enjoy your day on the Colorado River. Personal watercraft, or PWCs, are performance watercraft capable of thrilling speeds and maneuvers. They are not toys, and they can be highly dangerous if used improperly. All riders are legally required to operate their PWC in a responsible manner. When traveling above a wakeless speed, riders must maintain at least 60 feet between themselves and other watercraft. Turning sharply to spray another PWC, boat, or someone on the beach is dangerous and illegal. Be aware of other boats around you. Avoid crisscrossing in front of other boaters and blocking their view. Remember, your PWC is capable of making very fast turns. Look around you before you turn. Don't surprise other boaters with sudden or unpredictable maneuvers. Jumping wakes of other boats is also very dangerous and against the law. Just like on the road, there is a pattern to the traffic on the river. It's counterclockwise. An easy way to remember this is to always keep the shore to your right. When approaching another watercraft head-on, both watercrafts should turn to their right. This will allow both boats to pass safely. When approaching another boat to the side, the boat on the right has the right-of-way. But remember, when leaving the shore, let the boats in the traffic pattern go by first. They have the right-of-way in this circumstance. Sometimes you may want to pass a slower-moving watercraft. Passing on the left or the right side is legal as long as you leave enough room between watercraft to pass safely. Most people are used to being passed on the left in a car, so that may be the safer option. Pass far enough away so that your wake doesn't create a hazard for the other boat. If you are being passed, make sure that you don't turn into the path of the passing boat. While being passed, always maintain your direction and speed. Personal watercraft, or PWCs, are performance watercraft and should be handled with respect. Here are some PWC-specific safety considerations. PWCs are fast-moving, agile watercraft. Protect yourself by wearing goggles, gloves, and footwear. Stay away from the intake grate at the bottom of the PWC. Loose life jacket straps, bathing suits, or long hair can get sucked into the jet. Avoid being behind the water jet nozzle, especially when the throttle is applied. The water jet can throw rocks and debris and injure you. Do not apply the throttle when someone is in the water behind you. Before operating a personal watercraft, make sure your PWC lanyard is attached to either your wrist or your life jacket. This will kill the engine and prevent your PWC from taking off without you, if you fall off. Everyone on a PWC must wear a properly fitted life jacket. A life jacket that's too big or too small will not keep you safe in the water. Your rental company will help you select the proper sized jacket. Taking a passenger with you to enjoy the experience is a great way to spend the day. All passengers should be seated behind the operator. Make sure that all passengers' feet can reach the bottom of the foot trough. All passengers should be strong enough to hold on to the operator or the seat strap. Don't place small children in front of the operator. Learn how to properly write a turned over PWC. If not done properly, it can severely damage the PWC. Make sure that you are physically up to writing your PWC. Although you don't plan on overturning your craft, you may end up in the water. Riding an overturned PWC in river currents can be strenuous. Your rental company can give you instructions on how to do so properly. Whether you've fallen off or jumped in, you'll need to get back onto your PWC. The most stable way to do so is from the rear. Remember, there are no brakes and no off-throttle steering. Give yourself plenty of time to avoid hazards and don't outride your experience. 
Ask your rental company for details on operating the model you have rented and a demonstration on the water. There are areas on the river where you'll need to slow down, including several no-wake zones. Areas near a marina or any launch ramp are no-wake zones, even if they aren't marked. Wake is the trail of white water and waves that follow a quickly moving vessel. While in a no-wake zone, slow down so that no wake is behind your watercraft. Going downstream, this is easy. Going upstream is a bit more challenging, but slow speeds can and must be maintained. Operators should be aware that the area near Harris Casino is a no-wake zone. Anytime you're in a congested area, slow down for the safety of everyone and to avoid a collision. The river environment has some inherent dangers that all operators should be aware of. Docks along the edge of the river can be a significant hazard. Swift currents can pull your watercraft into the docks, dangerously lodging you against them. Steer clear of docks along the river. Likewise, stay away from the bridge abutments. In any waterway, there are varying water depths. The Colorado River's clear water can make judging the water depths difficult. Stay clear of areas where the water appears to be a dark brown color. These areas are typically shallow waters. The swift currents can affect how your watercraft will respond. An inexperienced operator could lose control or have their PWC turned over. Do not make sudden turns or movements in areas of strong currents. Bullhead City is known as Arizona's hottest destination. Summer temperatures can exceed 110 degrees Fahrenheit. On a watercraft, you're directly exposed to summer sun. While getting in the river is a great way to cool off, you must remember to hydrate. Water is your best bet. Drink water before you feel thirsty, and remember to wear sunblock. Summers also bring in monsoonal activity. These are quick-moving thunderstorms with very high winds. Pay attention to the weather around you. If you see storm activity, have a plan to quickly return to a safe area. If you see lightning or hear thunder, get off the water. Lightning can travel miles away from the storm clouds. There are some rules that you should follow while towing a water ski, wakeboard, or a tube. You must display the orange ski flag anytime someone is in the water preparing to be towed or falls in. The flag is not required while the watercraft is actively towing an individual. A third person is required to watch the person being towed so that the operator can give their full attention to driving. The person being towed must wear a life jacket. Do not tow a ski or tube before sunrise, after sunset, or through congested areas. Being out on the water and in the sun can compound the effects of alcohol and or drugs. Boating while intoxicated is not just unsafe, it's illegal. Operating a watercraft under the influence carries fines and jail time just like a DUI on the road. We encourage you to have a designated operator anytime you go boating. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It is our goal to help you avoid tragedy by being an educated and safe operator. I encourage you to continue your education by taking more boating safety courses. There are several great options online. Have a great time on the Colorado River and be safe.